Hey everyone, in this video, you'll see how to give and grade assignments on your MemberPress courses. Assignments let you engage your students by requiring them to submit essays or files in response to your tasks or questions. Whether it's through documents, PDFs, slideshows, images, spreadsheets, or even links to other file types like audio and video recordings, your students can easily submit their work directly through your course. Assignments will keep your students actively involved in your course, and not just passively watching videos or just skimming through your material. These interactive assignments, mixed with quizzes and extra learning resources, create dynamic and engaging experiences that help your students retain what you're teaching. This added layer of challenge and interactivity can make your courses more impactful, and it can keep your students sticking around and coming back to your website. Before you get started, you'll need to have the MemberPress plugin installed on your WordPress website. And you'll need to have the Courses add-on installed within MemberPress, which you can do easily on the Add-ons page of the plugin. Also, you'll need to have both the Course Assignments and Course Gradebook add-ons installed right here too. And you'll need a MemberPress plan that supports them. Check out our support documentation page to see if your plan supports assignments and Gradebook, and to upgrade if you need to. Now, this video is going to be a pretty basic overview of creating assignments and adding them to courses, and grading too. But for more in-depth guidance and considerations, be sure to check out our support documentation page on assignments for a lot more information. Within MemberPress courses, there's two ways to create assignments. One is when editing a course, and the other is on the assignments page of MemberPress courses. So first, I'm going to show you how to create an assignment on the assignments page, which you see right here. So to create a new assignment, you just go to MB courses here on the left sidebar, and assignments. And then click add new. Then give it a title. This will be the name for the assignment and it'll show up to your students when they're taking the course. It could be whatever you want. It could be simple things like assignment one, two, etc. Or maybe you want to indicate what the assignment is. Something like intro vocab, pronunciation assignment, anything you want. But for this example, I'm just going to say assignment one. So here you'll see this block automatically added on the assignments page. This is where a student will either upload the file that you require them to submit or paste a URL for the file for you to download. Also, on the assignments page, you could add text and images, even videos, and any other WordPress block, just like you're editing a page or post. So you can open up the block inserter here to add all your blocks, or just click this plus sign icon here to add them too. So it might be a good idea to add some text at least with instructions for your students. You could also include a video with instructions and an explanation of the assignment on it, an audio file, a link, whatever you want. So for my example here, I'm just going to add some text, and I'll say, read the Japanese culture ebook in the resources section of the course, and read the assignment instructions on the last page. Then upload or link your slideshow presentation here, and submit it. Okay, so this assignment requires students to read a PDF that I've attached to the resources section of the course, and on the last page of the PDF are instructions for creating a slideshow about Japan. So they would create their slideshow, like a PowerPoint file for example, and then upload that file here, or upload it to a file hosting service site like Google Drive or Dropbox or something, and then paste that file URL here. Or another quick example, if you're requiring the submission of a file type that isn't supported with the assignments upload feature, like an audio file for example, your instructions could be, please upload your audio file to Dropbox or Google Drive and paste the URL for it below, or something like that. And then over here on the right, you'll see some options pertaining to this assignment. You can set a featured image for it, which will show up on the course when a student's taking it. So I'll go ahead and add a featured image for mine right here. Like that. And then right here, you can add curriculum tags and categories to the assignment. I'm not going to get too into tags and categories here, but basically there are ways that you can group assignments together throughout all your courses for specific purposes. But for the purposes of this video, you don't have to worry about tags or categories or anything like that. Okay. Under Settings, you have some other important options that you can change to customize the assignment. So under Type, you can choose how students will submit the assignments. 
leave it set to upload to let them upload a file or paste a file link like you see here. Or you can change this to essay, which will replace the file upload window with a text editor where students can type or paste an essay response. So if your assignment just requires students to enter text, like an essay, short answer, or just responses to questions, you can make it easy for them by just giving them this text box to enter here by selecting essay. So on your assignment, maybe you wanna have a video or text instructions that require students to type out and submit a written response. So you can easily do that with the essay type. And then also right here, you can set a character limit on their response too. You can make them meet a minimum character limit or you can set a maximum limit. So you have that option available to you too. But for my example here, I'm just gonna switch it back to upload. Also for both upload and essay assignment types, you can set the number of points students can earn by completing it. It's set to one by default, but you can award more if you want to, or none at all. And then here, you can set what types of files that you're willing to accept. They're all set on by default, so students can upload any of these that you see here. But if you toggle them off, students won't be able to upload and submit that type of file. And then also, again, if you wanna require a different type of file that isn't supported here, like a video or audio file, for example, you can just instruct students to upload the file somewhere like Dropbox or Google Drive or something, and then just insert that URL. And then right here, you can turn off the upload URL option. So this won't let students paste a URL and will force them to upload a file. And then right here, you can turn this toggle off, allow resubmissions, if you don't want students to be able to resubmit their assignments. So once they submit the assignment, they can't change their submission. And if this is toggled on, they can resubmit their file or essay. I'm not gonna get too into this here, but see our support docs page for more explanations about how this works exactly. Okay, so once you have your assignments page all filled out how you want it, just click here to save the assignment and publish it. And then here, I can see my assignments published and viewable. Now, if I go back to MP courses and assignments, Here's the assignments page in member press courses. And I can see my assignment is created right here. And all the assignments that you create across all your member press courses will show up right here too. So that's how you create an assignment. You can also create assignments right in the curriculum builder in a course, which we'll see later. The benefit to creating them right here on the assignments page though, is that you can build all your assignments in one place, even before you create your courses. And then you just add them to your courses later. So it just gives you that added flexibility to create assignments even before you create courses. Okay, so now that I have my assignment created, next, I need to add it to one of my courses. So to do that, I'll go to MP Courses and Courses, and then I'll click here to edit a course that I already have created. And then I'll hop into the Curriculum tab, and you can see I have a course all built out right here with my different sections, and within them, lessons and quizzes. So right here on my first section, I wanna add my assignment. So to add an assignment to a course that you've already created, just go over here on the right and find the assignment section, and then just find your assignment here, or you can search for it too if you have a bunch of them. And all you do is click and drag it over here where you want it to show up in your course, just like that. And you could drag and drop it around too and then save the course. So once it's saved, now my students will complete these lessons, this quiz here, and then my assignment. And then we'll see what the student experience looks like later. Also, like I mentioned earlier, you can create brand new assignments right when creating and editing a course. So here in the curriculum tab, all you do is click add assignment right here in a section. And then type your title, and then hit enter, and it creates the assignment as a draft. So you just hover over the assignment, click the center icon to edit it, and then you'll be taken to the edit page for the assignment. And then you just create your assignment like we went over earlier, and then click here to publish it. And then it'll be all saved on your course automatically. So when it's published, students will be able to see your assignment right on the course. And also, if I go back to the WordPress dashboard, MP courses and assignments, you can see that new assignment that I just created added right here. 
Also here on the assignments page, you can click to edit all your assignments and you can delete them too. But before you edit and delete any assignment that you have, if you have active students taking your courses, just really think about how editing or even deleting an assignment will affect your course experience before doing so. Okay, so next, I'm gonna show you what this looks like for a student, and then we'll say what viewing submissions and grading looks like for you as the site admin. So now, I'm gonna open my site in a new incognito window. So I'm not logged in as my site's admin user. So an incognito window lets you view your site totally logged out, like you're a brand new site visitor, which is really great for testing. And then I'll go to log in, and login is a test user account I have set up on my site that has course access. Then I'll head to their account page, click their courses, and view the course I added assignments to. So right here, they can begin taking the course. And then after completing the previous lessons and this quiz right here, they can see their assignment. So they can see the instructions and have a place to upload their file or insert a URL for it. And since my assignment has them reference some resource material I added to the course, which you can do right in the resources tab when editing a course, they can get to that material by just clicking resources here. So the student would download the resource PDF or whatever it is right here. Then they would complete the assignment and then go back to the course and then go back to the assignment and upload their file. So again, they would either paste a URL for their file that's stored somewhere on the internet or click upload and then upload their file, just like this. And then here they can delete it and re-upload it or upload a different file. And then once they've uploaded their file and added it here, they would just click submit. And then once it's submitted, they would just move on in the course. So at this point, you as the site admin or instructor would grade their submission and then they would be able to see their grade. So right now the test user just submitted the assignment but it hasn't been graded yet. So right here on the left, the student can click on grades and they can see that assignment submission. And then of course they see that it hasn't been graded yet. And then clicking here will take them to this page where they can view the submission or re-upload or reinsert a URL and then resubmit the assignment with a different file. And they could do that because remember, I left the option to allow resubmissions on when editing my assignment. So that's a little bit about what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna minimize this incognito window and then go back to WordPress as me, the site administrator. So as an admin or instructor, there are a few different ways to view assignment submissions. If you go to MP courses and click to edit a course, and then go to the curriculum tab. If you hover over a specific assignment, you'll see this option to view submissions. And if you click on it, it takes you to this page, which will show you all the students and submissions of this particular assignment. And another way to view and grade submissions is just to go to MP courses and gradebook. So here you can select what exact assignments you wanna view, and then see all of its submissions too. So here you can see a general list of all your ungraded assignment submissions. So right here's mine for my test user. And here you can also see quiz submissions too. Or up here, you can select a specific course and then see assignment submissions for only that course. So you'll see a list of all your students, the assignments in their columns right here. And also right here, under these filters, say you only want to view submissions of a particular assignment like we did earlier. You can just select the assignment from this dropdown and then click go. And you'll see those submissions for this particular assignment. So to view and grade it, you would just click ungraded right here. And I can click here to view the student's file and then grade it out of the point value that I entered on the assignment like two out of five, for example. And you could also get bonus points here too for a job well done. So these are just additional points outside of your score. And you could also give the student feedback here. So once that's all done, just click submit. And then you can see the score updates right here. 
and you can click here and redo the grade if you want to. So now, once it's graded, your students will see their score. So to show you that, I'll go back to that incognito window that's logged in as my test student account now. And then refresh or go back to the course page. And then when the student goes back to the curriculum page or clicks on the assignment, they can see their score. Or over here on the left, if a student goes to grades, they can see their assignment, the grade, and click this icon to see any feedback that you left for them. They can also click here to resubmit another file or link if you have the option set for them to be able to do that. So maybe you flunk them, and then in the feedback you write, sorry, you didn't pass, resubmit your answers or something like that. So the student would be able to do that. And that's how you create and grade assignments. One last thing I wanna mention is how to protect assignments with MemberPress rules. So you might need to restrict access to specific assignments or groups of assignments. So you can use rules to do that. So real quick, if you go to MemberPress and rules and create a new rule, in the dropdown, you can see rule types to target all assignments, meaning all assignments across every single course on your MemberPress website, one single assignment, or all assignments with a specific tag or category applied to them. So that's how you'd protect assignments with rules. Also, for much more guidance on protecting course content with rules or creating assignments within MemberPress courses, check out our extensive support documentation for much more detailed information. Also, be sure to follow our blog and YouTube channel for all of our latest tips and tricks on making your MemberPress website a success. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos that makes getting MemberPress up and running a breeze.